Very strange that I have a large nose, and I'll tell you why. I guess you're privileged to have a big nose, then, because you don't live in harsh conditions. The habanero one? Holy fuck, dude. Woo! You know, maybe I've been treating this bike as some sort of parkour bike when really it's just a... <laughs> I once came face to face with a wild rhinoceros. I was pretty crazy. I got stung by a bee once. Okay. Blah! Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Burning Boat Business. I've got quite an episode. You seem way quite too excited. an episode planned here. Let me let me tell you. Um, we basically recorded a podcast like yesterday. No, it was like two days ago, three days ago. Thursday feels like today is four, five, five days. Five days. Right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Monday. Oh my goodness! It feels Time like flies. it was literally the other day. Time flies when you're not um, having fun. Yeah. So that's what I want to talk about. We just finished a job today. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, we did a video for the, the like a, a region of the Danish government. What, what do you say? Like uh, um, sort of Gentofte municipality. Right, a municipality outside of Copenhagen. Yeah, not too far outside. Um, I think still considered part of Copenhagen, yeah, definitely but still. not the city. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've been working with them. This is like the third time now. Yeah. And we agreed to do kind of like a documentary shoot where mm-hmm. we'd follow along on four separate days over the course of two months, um, showing and capturing how they went from no ideas to an idea that they want to present in parliament. Correct. And what was the idea? The It was about student housing in that Correct. region. So they had a bunch of youth helping them right talk about these that's what the video was about about they sort of had this idea that you know if you're gonna make policies in government you should involve the people that it directly affects yeah i think specifically here with student housing they were like well let's get some students to come along let's show them some you know student some student housing that is currently under construction yeah some student housing that is already being lived in and um, that will hopefully give them some ideas as to, you know, when they build student housing in their community, what they should prioritize. Exactly. And they wanted to, they wanted us to make a video that was the presentation that they give in right. Parliament. So the video itself is the product that they're looking for. Right. And is what they're using to pitch the ideas that they came up with. Exactly. Instead of, a, I guess, a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, it's a little more exciting. And it yeah. shows, the, the, the unique part of it is that it shows the process, the progress, the behind the scenes. Like, right. how did they arrive at these 10 right. points that they, you know, presented? <clears throat> exactly. And um, how do we feel about talking about costs? I feel we should definitely talk about it because talk about my it. whole point is ruined if we can't talk about okay, it. Okay, well, just cut it out if we can't. Um, no, we can't. We definitely can't cut it out. Okay. I think it would be absolutely fine. We, we got paid 14,000 kroner right. for the whole job. Right. Um, which at the time, and I still think is, is fine, yeah. but what I did is I went through and calculated exactly how many hours we spent working on it. Uh-huh everything Uh like from prep time to edit time when we were both editing when it was just me um what we spent to make the video just like buying meals out train tickets everything and it's interesting to look at so let's go through let's see so we had four actually five days of shootings we ended up doing one extra day right these aren't full days the first day was three hours second time five then four then four and then one hour okay which is a total of 17 hours total for shooting Okay. I did. And that's minus travel time. That's minus travel time. Then I calculated that it's roughly an hour of prep time on our part. Yeah. Both in getting the gear ready and in unpacking when we get home. Carrying. So that's an extra five hours, then two hours to travel there every time because it's an hour away. So an hour there and an hour back. Yeah. Then, I mean, I calculated that we worked um, four and a half weekdays where we were both there yeah and then three weekend days okay where we were also both there then i remembered that on the first couple of days you were still kind of working on another couple of projects while i got a head start so i subtracted 12 hours okay at the end okay um that's a total of 140 hours that we spent on that project alone okay 
that's calculating things like okay on a weekday we on average work from like nine to six nine to six yeah probably more closer that's what you're working yeah yeah um but it's it's all taken into account yeah like hours that were probably not as important i i took a whole half day away just because of that mm -hmm. where i knew that sometimes we start a little later yeah so i just completely removed a day where we didn't work a full day okay it's 140 hours and if you calculate the costs that we spent on our part to produce the video right that leaves us at making 79 kroner per hour heck yeah which is 10 and a half euros per hour 10 and a half what's that in dollars oh, oh my god 12 dollars i'm around that up. basically that's like minimum wage <laughs> and it does it's it's so i think it's important for us to keep um calculating this moving forward how much time we're actually spending on stuff yeah. so that we can continue to evolve our pricing it's 12 dollars um because it, it gets it gives you such good insight into where we're actually spending our money and how long it actually takes us to do things like this. Right. This is a unique project. It was. Because of the documentary style that we're doing, we filmed everything. Right. So we had 10 hours of footage. Yeah. Which means that editing took at least twice the time it would normally take. Right. And it's all in Danish, so I can't really help you. No. But you ended stuff. up having a, enough to do just with the graphics, yeah. which took a lot longer than I personally thought it would take. Yeah. So it, it's definitely on the high end in terms of hours compared to cost. Right. Um, I think on other projects, it would probably be more like, I don't know, maybe like 15, 16 yeah. dollars per hour. <laughs> but even that, it just shows you that that's what you'd get paid just physically for for being there and working that's, yeah. not, that's not taking into account the equipment we're using yeah. the skill sets that we have yeah. the software that we're using yeah the product itself right that's purely just man hours yeah and then that's really what we're getting paid for that's pretty crazy that's pretty crazy maybe we should quit our jobs and start working at mcdonald's because we'll get paid the same <laughs> no but this is just where we're starting and i think it's important to just like look at as um that's what's currently happening. And I agree. That's I mean, what we're doing. I'll be honest. The fact that we're making more than zero is yeah. all that really matters to me at the moment. And um, that's definitely a unique project with the amount of work that went into it. Mm -hmm. um, but what it does for me is it makes me feel a lot more com comfortable and confident in like, this is what we're charging right. in the future. Depending on exactly what it is. Exactly. It feels, I feel like, but this is also the guy we're working for. He's a, uh, like we said, this is our third contract with him mm. and more to a, come. Part of a package kind of. Exactly. Right? So it's, it's hard to sort of calculate one video and be like, oh, that's what we got paid for that video because it's kind of the, you know, the, a lot of videos are involved in that. I'm, I'm very excited that this was the last one we worked on because it was by far the hardest. Yeah. And last one, I mean, before we start what is probably more of what we want to be doing which is editing your film yeah i find it a very satisfying end to the first chapter of the business in terms of we've done a lot of really exciting projects yeah this was exciting on a in, on a, in a way but on a lot of levels it was just a lot of really hard work yeah and just time there is a lot of and it's definitely I don't know. We talked about it a lot that, you know, a lot of our shoots for this specifically were at night mm -hmm. and how that can sort of drain you throughout the day when you're already working and in the back of your head, you're like, oh, yeah, like a four hour shoot. They were all starting at like six or seven, you know, exactly. Um, and you got to take the train out and you got to carry the equipment. And that the funny thing is you kind of dread it in the like throughout the day a little bit. Mm. And then both of us are always like, as soon as we leave. Yeah. And we're there. It's true. It's like, it's totally fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's as soon as you leave. Yeah. It's uh, already on the bus. You're it's kind of like, fine. Right, you're having we go. a Red Bull. You're eating some couscous from 7-Eleven. I had to look up how much those couscous cost to get an yeah. accurate calculation. 29 price. kroner? Oh, I did 30. Okay. Is it 29? Uh, I, I can't tell. Well, Once then, I in got that it case, for... we, make ten year, we made 10 years and, One cent. and 7 cents. Oh, watch out, ladies. Two rich boys coming through. Um, I think the only thing I wanted to 
highlight with this was let's kind of let's start keeping a little bit more track of how long we're spending on stuff. Yeah. Um, without like it being a super annoying thing, like you right. totally do it like at the end of the project like this. Right. I was easily able to calculate this and not very long, but I think it's, it's definitely interesting and it will start to, we'll start to know right. kind of what we're able to do in what kind of time. Cause it's, I had, it's very I hard. never expected it to take that long. Right. But never. the thing is, it's back to the thing where it's like, the, you want to put in that extra work, even if you're not mm. getting paid for it because of this, like, well, of course we want to come out with the best video. Exactly. Which is a very hard thing to do because that last couple 5% to make a video perfect take, can take you yeah. fucking forever. It can take you as long as everything else is yeah. taking you, to be honest. Because it's all these small little changes and little, you know, and of course the person you're sending it to has notes and you're trying to figure this thing out. And I think maybe what leads to some people not finding success is that sort of mentality of being like, well, you know what? We only got paid for this much, yeah. so we're just going to stop there. And sorry, you guys got to pay us more. And then that client doesn't have more money to pay. And you kind of end up with a shit product at the end that nobody's happy with. Yeah. Um, which is like, that doesn't, what was the point? That then? doesn't get get you anywhere. No, because then you're not going to get the next job. You're not going to get a. But I, I think you're right in saying it's good to know this sort of stuff because now, you know, we can show that to another company and be like, you guys might think this is a quick job, but let us show you why this is actually like a massive I just feel a lot more, I don't know how much I'd actually like put it in front of them and look, this is exactly how everything happens, but just purely exactly. on a, I know, or we know that this takes us this many days mm -hmm. and that's why it, 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 we need to charge more for it in, in the beginning. Because yeah. what we do is we, we try our best to guess I'm gonna move this. what a project is going to cost us yeah. in time yeah. and in money. Yeah. And we base our pricing off of that. As right. soon as that deal has been made, it all goes out the window. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. Like, hopefully, it's that's what it is. And that's how long it Whatever takes it us. Takes. And that's what we predicted, and everything goes perfectly. Sometimes it's actually easier, and it doesn't take us as long. Yeah. And that's great, too. But kind of most often, at least for now, things have been taking us longer, or we've been realizing oh we could just make the video a little bit better this right. way let's put in the time right. because it always pays off and those are the things that they're like oh i'm That's so glad stuff. yeah i saw that thing in That's the background the best part of the video yeah. yeah it's so good it's it's very it's very rewarding yeah and i don't mean with clients like to be specific i meant more like if they say oh we want you here at this event and we want you to shoot these specific things mm -hmm. i would already know like okay it's not shooting everything if they're like yeah. oh, we don't really know can you just kind of shoot everything and then edit together I'd be like, okay, that's a massive project now. That is because now we've got more. thirty hours of footage. Exactly that. More like that. It's because if the you way guys that can be specific on what you want. Obviously, that's easier for us just because we have less footage, less to edit, less. One hundred percent. You know, because that's so stressful when someone's like, you know, a documentary, which is basically what this was. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to delude myself into thinking this is going to sell to Netflix or something, but it's a documentary style shoot. It's it's very stressful because you're like you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And you're constantly, you got your rig, you know, we're trying to constantly make sure we're capturing everything. You don't really want to put the camera down because all of a sudden they say something that is like crucial to the story right, of the exactly. whole thing. And you can't ask them to repeat it because we're supposed to be invisible. Right. And you don't want to miss a funny moment in the van that yeah. turns out to be like, God damn it. Why didn't we have the camera rolling? Um, it becomes very difficult to sort of, yeah. But I thought it was a great experience. I really... Yeah, totally. enjoyed it. But now we have some data. Yeah, more so, data. More data. Um, let's let's go on to talking about our next project then, which is the music video. Yeah. Um, I feel like we can talk about that. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to be working on the next couple of days yep. before we start the big project. Yeah. Um, it might be a very good idea to use it to just kind of cleanse ourselves of any bad creative ideas we might have yeah just kind of put everything we possibly can onto the go a little crazy yeah, exactly go a little crazy so that we can because i feel like we had to really restrain ourselves for this project right and make it very just it's for politicians I yeah mean, let's it's be real. just uh of course that there's they friendly yeah yeah family friendly not, not as crazy yeah so let's uh let's do some stuff on this video I think 
You've you've already started editing it. That's very loose, but I appreciate. <laughs> you've that. edited the first twenty seconds of it. Yeah, which is cool as fuck. It's a cool twenty seconds. It's very cool. Uh, yeah. And now you're worried, or you stopped because you were worried that you didn't know how to make it as cool going forward. I just kind of had like a writer's block or whatever yeah. you call it a couple weeks ago when I was working on it. It like starts off so cool that it's kind of like you want it to continue with that yeah. a little bit and it suddenly becomes a lot more intimidating to come up with something. Right. And a lot of times I've been finding now is, you know, I don't want to complain, but with this policy video as well, mm. there's some graphics that are just very frustrating to do because we're shooting in 4k I know. for example we've got greens green so we're using key light and we're using you know nobody will know what this is but like saber and they're all very render intensive and i don't know if, using saber if you uh it's basically frustrating because it's like you try to look at one frame it takes i don't know 10 15 seconds to load just the one frame yeah. and then you're kind of in your head trying to picture like okay what's that gonna look like that should be good but i won't know until i render it out which takes Basically, I mean, you, you have to edit in the dark. So you have to bit. you have to assume that what you've done is is looking good, because you won't be able to see it until you've exported the whole thing. Right. And anybody who's typed on Microsoft Word or something and the computer for a second just slowed down and it's not catching up with your typing. Yeah. And it's a little frustrating because you do want to see what you're doing. Just so you know, yeah. it's that feeling of like, God damn, I need a better computer. It's but... Definitely a little tense in the editing room yeah. this week for sure. <laughs> On both parts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I what I was doing while you were doing that is looking through the 30-minute takes that we were taking. Yeah. We were yeah. quickly clapping, restarting the camera, restarting the audio recorder, and going again. We basically had 30-minute takes for each of the shoots. Right. So we filmed everything. Right. And I just had to look through it all and find a story yeah. and create it yeah. while listening. It, I did a really good job. But you don't know. You have no idea. You've only... I bet you 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 trust that what I'm translating to you is actually true. Correct. I might be lying. Correct. It might all just be gibberish, and correct. no one knows what's. But going I on. thought that was funny because we watched the video, and obviously it's on Danish, and then Mads is like, "Oh, and he's saying blah blah blah." It's like a live translator. Almost, I just like started going stage. for it. <laughs> yeah, but it was perfect. I was like, oh, "Okay, now I'm finally cool." Um, but but for the music video, I don't. I really haven't thought much about it. Um, you. Did you mention that you had some ideas that I have things ideas. that we could do? I have ideas. The main thing, and who knows if this will happen, but is I think a lot of people like kind of very random, crazy stuff nowadays. That seems to be the trend. Right. And I want to have a through line to everything, but it also might just be overcomplicating it. And maybe we can just free ourselves to be, because that's what the artist said as well, who made the song. Make it as crazy was like, as possible. Oh, don't try to Make have it. a story or anything. Make it super abstract, which just reminds me a little bit of like the experimental kids in film school who just kind of like, there's no point behind anything. Yeah. Like you still want a point, even exactly. if you're going off the walls. Yeah, crazy. I agree. Um, so that's been a little bit tough to figure out. I mean, effects wise i have a lot of ideas that i think will be cool i had the idea of if we wanted to try and edit it at the same time that we could do something like every 10 seconds cut it splits it, it changes from your edit to my mm -hmm. edit and that each person had a very intense style That'd and that that became kind of like the story if you can even call it that that it was I like, like that like uh, because it's a physical fight that's happening on camera right one of them could be very clean, for example, and just very neat and nice. And maybe the colors are really saturated. And the other one could be as crazy as you yeah. want to make it. And it could be kind of like the battle that's going on within or whatever. That's a cool the idea. The real thing is about it. Because the song is quite intense. Although I also like... Because the thing that got me out of that block was... As soon as we sat down together, and yeah, yeah. then ideas started flowing again. I, I, it was that I, period where we were both working separately and we were like, it's just that like, I don't even know what it is, but. It's, be, it's being confirmed in your ideas and not constantly having to convince yourself that what you're doing is good. Yeah. Or just another, you know, I only have so many ideas in my head. Yeah. Especially with like effects and all that stuff. And it can just help. Like you're learning after effects. Mm -hmm. You might have watched some tutorial and you're like oh this is kind of cool and i'm like oh yeah oh that reminds me of this other thing right yeah, yeah, and i yeah, need yeah, that yeah. sort of like impetus or something to kind of send me down another route yeah because especially if you're editing stuff all the time i mean we're putting a lot of graphics into everything yeah I, again i only have so many tricks in my hat mm -hmm. i'm not a but you are i'm not gonna get hired by hollywood i'm good for what we do but 
you know what I mean? Um, I think that's a good point that we, we don't have to like put a barrier up between the two of us and just like work on parts separately. Right. But that could be an idea. I, I like that forward, idea. That it could like change styles exactly. and that's all. That's exactly. the only through line. Exactly. That it's just like half of it is similar to the intro and the other half is completely like right. torn apart in terms right. of film filters and stuff it's so crazy like just because you were showing me a couple music videos i've been watching a lot of music videos uh recently to try and get some inspiration right and they're just fucking insane they're just and if so you over the top that it's amazing compare them yeah i think they're really good too if you compare them to like in the 90s a music video you know it's so fucking funny because you're like what is like the difference is just so people walking with tigers and then it's glitching into this other thing and then there's big booty bitches and blah, blah. <laughs> you know like all this stuff going on and then you watch like i don't know some blink 182 video it's just them in a white room with a guitar yeah. and like oh god life was so much easier back then it's definitely... you could be like the top music video producer and just be like oh we're just gonna shoot in this white studio you know three cam shoot and we'll just kind of cut between you guys it'll be fun yeah. You know, we'll have a cutaway scene where you're ordering popcorn in a movie theater and then, yeah. you know, music video done. Yeah. <laughs> Send it to MTV. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like nowadays for the, the, the top music videos, you have to come up with some crazy revolutionary yeah. new editing style yeah. that everyone would be like, oh, remember the, the technique from Yeah, and it's a big video. it's a big trend. I mean, it's a lot of like music videos come out and then basically editors and graphics people will be like, this you know, is how, tutorial on how to do this yeah. one effect from this one music video definitely an interesting world that i briefly looked into there's some really talented people out there or really bored people because a lot of that stuff is just the most tedious stuff and i'm like god damn yeah I mean, that's the other that's thing we only got patience. so many hours clearly and they're production houses i mean they can outsource yeah a lot of work a lot of rotoscoping we if we want to do something we actually got to sit there and, and manually do it, do it. Key frame by key frame. yeah which is a lengthy which is much lengthy more fun process. with two people which was another well. problem by yourself doing sort of that sort of tedious stuff. It's just like, you just get distracted. I mean, well, you can also just, you know that, okay, you're sitting and doing something that's very tedious. It'll turn out cool at the end, but yeah. then you can kind of look over and the other person's probably doing something that's a little different. And right. you can kind of see that the project is still kind of progressing right. in a way. And it's you can distract like, yourself by having a quick conversation and go back to work. Yeah. When you're by yourself, a quick distraction turns into you're An watching on Clockwork Orange for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that actually leads nicely into another point which okay. is the bets yeah that we've now been talking about for like the past four weeks yeah you were saying last time there's the potential of adding on to those bets tacking it on have you decided whether or not you want to do that definitely definitely but so not explain. right so i want to do no and and it's just more just all know what it means and i think you know what i mean uh, yeah. it's like basically it's no youtube no facebook no instagram mm -hmm. um but it, it's just the 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 sort of um the way you use it yeah so i can still upload things of course and you i can, can also still... watch a tutorial on how to do this one specific thing for exactly the but i it's got to be very clear that it's specifically for work and n not entertaining although a tutorial can be entertaining to me yeah i don't want to suddenly start watching four hours of tutorials every day because i'm trying to yeah um that's that's all i really want to add on and the main idea being as soon as i'm done with editing here and i go home i'd rather reach in the blink of an eye or uh do something that i feel like will get me in the right mindset yeah. for the next day and it's a very intense i want these next three weeks or the three weeks in December to be very intense. I agree. Sort of like choosing. But that's what I want to talk about. Yeah. Really. So I'll quickly go through my yes. tack on for my challenge is I'm going to be reading um, five hours a week. Okay. And that can be either as an audio book or as a book, a physical enough. book. Because I just am really into my audio books at the moment. Right. Um, but that definitely doesn't cover five hours. Right. That maybe covers like two at right. the most. So I'd still be having to read three hours. Okay. And it's it used to be that I'd say I want to read this many minutes per day. Yeah. But that gets a little yeah, difficult because then days you're very busy and you yeah. want to maybe read more another day. So it's way easier for me to just say per week. Right. So that's what I'm doing. I like you. And still the same. We'll tack them on. Same bet. Same consequence. Um, but I really don't feel the need to start until December is my sort of thing. Okay. 
because what's today the 26th and that's mainly just to avoid this thing of like let's do everything right now like let me get myself figured out with the first bet and then we'll add the second bet mm -hmm. and then it will just very nicely transition into editing yeah and i also want to be reading in the blink of an eye yeah. as i'm editing yeah rather than having finished it and then edit okay because i just want to see the transition yeah which will be cool great i've read that book by the way if you're wondering but uh it's I'm just those little things it's that great I'm, yeah. i might read it a third time yeah just to be in the same mindset walter merch oops speaking of the video that we just finished which got an email mm -hmm. we need to change everything Oh, that sounds like a lot of text. No, that was just the timer going off. Oh. Um, he just wrote, everyone is so happy. Thank you again and again and again. So I guess. But not again? That fucking he ended it bitch. In, he ended it in J. Huh? Thank you again and again and again, J. J. Just the letter J. Who's J? I don't know. That must be a <laughs> T. Well, that's good. They like the video. Good. So all is well. Good. He is, we're going to try to have him on on the podcast at some point. He's yes, a funny we guy. We definitely need to get Matias on the podcast. Yeah, we, we like him a lot. He's been, yeah, he's been he's very great. fun to work he's great. with. He's great. Um, all right, let's talk about editing this thing. Okay. I think we should do a little bit of, of let's lay some things out on the table. Okay, let's lay it out. Let's discuss lay it. how this is going to happen. I smell, I smell what you're cooking. We, um, we got to get these stills ordered. Yes. I know that we're still... Waiting for money. Waiting for the money. I got, Get into the account. I got no money. As soon as that happens, yeah. boom. Click Happening. order those things. Happening. Hanging those things up in the middle. Yeah. I'm gonna drill into the ceiling. Good. Get hooks so that we can create a massive wall. Oh my god, Phoebe's gonna They're gonna be removed me. every time she comes she comes. Okay, home. we'll just move them. We'll just take them down, Perfect. put them in the office. Perfect. Um I know that you're not the biggest scheduler and that that's not your, but that's, I thought I'd bring it up. Bring if it that's up. that's something you want to talk about, if that's something you've thought about. I think. It, this is definitely your, um, your thing. Uh -huh. I, I, I want you to say what you want to do, but I'm just here to try and so here's suggest the thing. things. Here's the thing. I think we have, and we both know we have a hard out every day. Okay. Right? Yeah. So there is a point at which it's done yeah we don't pull any late nights okay because this is your apartment uh-huh um so in order to sort of combat that i think we do need to start at a certain time mm. that will be i think quite rigid mm. um especially because i know that after a week or two it's not going to be as fun as it was the first week but we only have so much time to That's really do thing, it right? And if we don't get it done, it's like we just got to make the next most time? of it. Exactly. I'm I'm so on the same page. I think there's a lot that we can kind of. There's a lot more that we can do just by being a little bit more um, planning wise, just like having right. this conversation, and by realizing that you're right, it's not going to be as fun the second week. Yeah, and things like that. And that's also the whole idea behind the bets. If people are wondering, is like, yeah, I'm taking away YouTube drinking all that stuff because that's the stuff that keeps me up late at night yeah that then makes me you know and it's like taking that stuff away you know you just get bored at night and you can go to bed yeah and you wake up early. <laughs> yeah um so that's that's really the reason for those things and yeah i don't think we need to be working at 6 a.m i think you know just a very rigid um basically i think as soon as phoebe leaves for work i'll show up and then we work and go climbing on the days where we go climbing and then on days where we don't we have a hard out at whatever time we decide six six thirty seven whatever mm -hmm. um and then that's that i think that sounds that sounds very exciting nice very good um what about things like having obviously a scene takes as long as it takes uh -huh. to get done but uh -huh. what about some kind of like I think it'll it'll happen as as we start. Right. We'll realize that, okay, it'd be great to have this scene next. Right. But to what extent do you think we'd be able to say, okay, you're doing this scene. Once you've finished that, move on to this one. Yes. Or is it gonna be very much like as you go? 
I think you go. You should balance. If there's a scene you're really excited about, I'll definitely be the first to be like, let me just get my motivation back up by working on this exciting scene or something. Mm. Um, but mainly, I think there is a pretty straightforward structure on well, you start here, mm -hmm. you get to a point. There's very clear sort of points. I feel like you know you can finish a chunk and then you can kind of skip in the story. Yeah. But if you finish like three fourths of the chunk and then skip, then it's like I don't know. You built up this whole mindset and have been thinking you might as well finish that yeah so that's a finished thought yeah and then you can move on it's exactly that because i really want to try and and get kind of into as much as i can like segments where i can be thinking kind of the same way right if i feel like okay i'm going to be doing a, a very different scene get inspired by reading right. and watching stuff for that scene almost in preparation for it rather than kind of like arriving on the day and then suddenly i have to work on something where I feel like I could have been a little bit more prepared. Yeah, no, it. I think it's, we'll have to gauge for ourselves. I don't really want to be like, you work on this. No, I think course. I'll direct you and be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, I think you would do well with this stuff, mm -hmm. mainly because it's freaking me out or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, And we'll kind of move forward like that. But I think it should it should be quite loose on how the main thing is the structure, which I'll show you my books and everything, but it's like the main thing I, I want is that when you edit a scene, mm -hmm. that if I go, can I see all the other takes or yeah. are there any other good takes yeah. of this guy yeah. for this specific line? Because mm -hmm. that's what I have right now. I have a notebook and I could tell you, oh, take three is pretty good. I didn't like this small part about it. Take five is pretty good and take six is pretty good. Everything else is trash because mm -hmm. there are, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. and then we can just look at those three. And then we can be like, oh, actually, you know what? This might work a little bit better there. Just to do all the menial work, that's not, it, it's a little bit frustrating, but then it helps so much. Yeah. Like for the, I've edited basically, I think, four scenes right now. Mm -hmm. For any of those, you could come to me and be like, uh, that's a little, you know, what else did this person, and I could give you exactly. Yeah. Here, here, here. No, I definitely want to. And these line up to my markers on my computer. Do it what takes you've two done. seconds. Yeah, I definitely want to. For me to show you the next take. To do, be able to do that, I'm going to have to obviously watch everything for every scene before I do it. Yeah. So, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. It's and it's like, common, you know, it's hard because you want to start right away and it's very like yeah. no, patient no, no. to sit down with a notebook yeah. and just sit there and not try to fast forward through stuff. Dude. Because it's like, it is going to be, it's cool. It's going to be so exciting to just do that. I know yeah. that it's, um, it won't be as exciting on the fourth day, yeah. but, but then it comes watch. back on the fifth because you're like, oh fuck, this scene is, there are oh. just some scenes where we have like, I think like, I don't know, 25, 30 gonna, takes or something. It's going to be good. Yeah. I think um, I think I would definitely need w at least one day off a week to uh, yeah, kind of like both reset, but also just, you know, I do other things. I agree. So I think if we could do something like on Sundays, that's just unless there's something else happening, yeah. kind of try and leave those open. Maybe we could do something on Sundays. We both export. I can take those exports home. Mm -hmm. I can do my quick notes kind of mull them over but i'm definitely believing more and more in the idea of like if you want to do something really good you have to know when to stop yeah i i i definitely feel like that for myself yeah that i just it just does it does so much to know that you've okay basically um we're both pretty much coming off of three weeks straight right. without a single day off i mean right. you, you had a day off last yesterday week off. yesterday and yeah and we and on friday as well but yeah. before then two and a half weeks of not a single day off yeah yeah and it just gets very it just the the work you do on that last day is just so much work <coughs> had you taken a day off before then and came back and, and done something yeah um we, were, we had to do that because we're on a deadline so that's why it wasn't because we find it fun necessarily to do that i also and I again it was well you were editing something in danish 100%. there's not much i can add exactly. you know um but yeah, no, it does a huge difference. It does. And I, you know, I've been playing my guitar again mm. and um, I find it so interesting where I'll be trying to learn a song yeah. and I'll kind of get it to a good point, but it's still, I'm stumbling a little bit. I won't touch the guitar for two days. Mm. I'll come back, play it. And I'll play it perfectly. Yeah. And it's like, I've been practicing that's so weird. in my head somehow. But you, that's exactly what I've been thinking doing. about it. Ugh, it's, it's like so interesting. The scenes that you're struggling with during the week, yeah. that you're kind of leaving. Then on that day, on the Sunday, you kind of just forget about it, and right. then you come back on Monday, and suddenly you've somehow thought up 
the yeah. way that those scenes are going to be put together. Yeah. It's very bizarre how your mind works. Um, let's get real um, practical. All right. Let's do let's do like a like a meal thing, like a meal plan. Yes. Uh, you kind of brought that up, and I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. I think something just... like the beginning of the week, we kind of make our meals for that week. Yeah. Because this is a unique situation. Normally, we're out and about, and we can't really plan for a week right. because stuff comes up. Right. We've pretty or much we're pretty loose, and it's like we'll just make sandwiches yeah. or something. Yeah. But it's. It does. Again, it feels like a very valuable time here that we want to, exactly. you know, and I, I want to show up for Christmas at my mom's and be like, I'm fucking exhausted yeah. and I need to just lay down for Christmas and just enjoy family time. And that'll be amazing. And then go hardcore mountain. Climbing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Four days later. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think just at the beginning of the week. We'll talk about okay, what are we gonna eat this week? We'll figure it out. Yeah. Either cook it all in one go. Maybe then that's I've got something a, a, ideas. a Sunday could be spent on a, at least part of it. Exactly. Um That's one, cost wise, I think that's a good idea too. That going as well. Forward. I'm trying to save money. I'm trying. Yeah. But I think even like the idea of like, well, when we start buying food in our, on our business accounts, mm -hmm. it'll be smart to just be like, Okay, here's the food for the week. Yeah. Uh we gotta divvy this out, we gotta cook and uh, prep. And if we run out, that's too bad. That's no. too bad. <laughs> Start eating Arlo's food. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, anything else you want to talk about in terms of editing? I'm sure obviously there is, but. I think nothing that needs to be. Yeah. Just kind I'd of rather basics. address it when we are in the middle of it. Then, all right. The climbing trip again. Again. Here we go. Here we go. I think. So I, I've talked to my brother this morning, as you mm -hmm. saw, Um we were talking about, let's do some, let's do some challenges when okay. we're on the climbing trip. Kind of like, let's have a, a checklist of things we want to try and get done. Okay. So in, in the spirit of not wanting to plan stuff, I've instead twisted it into, well, let's make a list of things that would be so much fun if we were able to do them, but they're very vague in a way. Okay. And kind of, as we go along, we'll probably realize, oh, now's a good opportunity to try and get that okay thing done okay and just make this epic list that seems undoable and then by the end of the trip hopefully we'll have done everything interesting like, things like the basics like all right we want to try and maybe reach at least two summits okay on the trip okay but also stuff like my brother's like well let's go skinny dipping in a frozen lake okay like add that down um i want to try and overnight in the tent on the mountain on okay. a mountain one night that one scares me <laughs> right but it's like let's see how many obviously we're not bound to it yeah, yeah, yeah but um what do you do you have anything that you feel like we could add to it things that you would be really down to try and and get done on this once in a lifetime <laughs> that's not I but like, it's just i want to do so much on one thing trip. that i really like and i do this not often we uh, i did that with you on your trip mm. where it was um kind of do this thing where if you're with you know the three of us if any one of us says i want to go and do that whatever it is if it's like a bowling alley on the way or yeah, like a fucking, yeah, yeah, who knows yeah, 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 yeah. you gotta go and do it everyone's gotta go do it the person who decided to do it is responsible if it sucks you gotta bash them yeah. like, oh, that fucking sucked that okay. was a stupid idea why'd you do that that's great um i like stuff like that where it's just you know it's the same when i was trying to pick a bar with my friend who came to visit me where he didn't come to visit me, he was flying through here. And I said, same thing. Okay. First person to just point, oh, we're going to that one. That's where we go. That's correct. Not, it doesn't become a massive no, that's plan. Perfect. It's just, yeah. Um, I, I have a few other ones that go ahead. I think are great. Things like, so we wanted to make a video about it uh -huh. um, to actually make it a challenge to only use solar power. Yeah. And kind of deal with it. Yeah. And see if we can. Yeah. I, I love that idea. I think it's just add another dynamic to the whole thing. Yeah. And I think worse comes to worse. Car maybe battery. we have to knock on someone's door and be like, sorry, we're filmmakers. Can we just charge our drone for, you know, it would just make, an hour. It would just make the experience. I, I, I've been watching There's a nothing. I mean, of, what um, else are we going to do? We can't bring. It's true. A what battery. else are we going to do? But still, it, it you, you could go to like our, a restaurant and like sit for a little bit and charge some stuff in the back but like if you've said that a challenge is to charge it using solar oh power, so it would be just solar power or i mean it can also hook that battery up to the car so that when you're driving it gives it a little bit of juice 
Okay. That would count. Okay. But purely using the goal zero technology. I like that. As a challenge. I like that. Um, I've been watching a little bit of Yes Theory on YouTube. Uh-huh. And I just find it so much fun to watch the videos where they have, <coughs> they have like, yeah, like we've got to walk from here to here. And that's the only thing, but that, that's right. their goal. Right. And everything that happens in between. So like if one of them is to jump in a frozen lake naked, there's going to be other stuff that happens in trying to achieve that. Exactly. Um, but I love the, the idea of having like on the spot ones that you just kind of have to go with no matter yeah, what. Yeah. That's great. But then another one, probably a little intense, but it's on my list is I want to, um, descend off of a cliff. Okay. So like find a cliff somewhere uh-huh. that's high enough that I could tie a rope at the top uh-huh. and then use the descender technology uh-huh. that we have to rappel down, hang out for a bit, maybe get some cool shots That'd and then cool. climb back up. That'd be cool. Um, which would just purely be scary. Um, because I mean, we've hung in, on ropes before, right. but, but not, <laughs> not out on a cliff. Yeah. 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 No, I think that's a good idea because that's what we want to do as well. Filming wise, we got to get some practice in on that. Yeah. Um, But we can add to it along the trip. We can add to it before. But oh, my brother also wanted to boulder, which I'm like, it's fucking winter. But it's like, it's also we're driving. Suddenly there's a big rock. Yeah. We could probably boulder that. Yeah. Stop and let's go go boulder it. It's it's hard to tell, too, because as anybody in Europe knows, we could have a beautiful, sunny couple days. Yeah. We could have a fucking blizzard for three days. Yeah. you know, so if it's sunny, yeah, a lot of stuff gets done. If it's a blizzard, we might sit in the car for three days. Camp out on the mountain will turn into camping right next to the car. Yeah. Because we can't get anywhere. Yeah. But at least we'll get to That's experience fun, that. Exactly. You know? So it'll be, it'll be, yeah, we're definitely getting out of our comfort zone on the, yeah. on the trip is, yeah. is basically what I want to do. Me too. I think I need that. I'm just looking forward to another. Because the last time would be, yeah, I would say my film was like the last like intense adventure, intense. Yeah. you know? Yeah. Which now is like almost what eight months ago? It's a fucking long time ago. Crazy. Woo. Um, I mean that's the last big point I had. God, I think I'm inhaling these small hairs, which is why I'm coughing a little bit. Um, my tutorial. Yes. Um, it's kind of getting taken over by all these other by by editing your film. That's fine. You know, the only thing I can think of is. A tutorial about having two editors um but that would kind of yeah. take the focus away yeah, from what yeah, we're actually yeah. doing and i'm already wanting to film a little bit of behind the scenes uh-huh. on that i uh-huh. feel like we'll just kind of keep it keep it keep you it know, keep it there somewhere but, i uh, the reason i did that yeah. is purely because i said i would I don't think, you know, we have to continue that. You got me very excited about it. I I'm excited about it as well, but it it is something that is very hard to justify right now compared to the you know i was justifying it compared to our work and i was like there is an argument to be had that a youtube audience helps us out and blah 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 with the film i feel a little bit more like it's so valuable that time let's not no i'm smirch it i'm like i'm ready to um if if we get opportunities to work in in the month of december to say no we can't do it can you do it in the new year and if right. not sorry i will i mean there's a price you can you could buy us there's a hundred percent a price yeah. you can buy us for <laughs> my but phone yeah, number is five <laughs> we're trying we're trying very hard to be you because you have to set that time aside and nobody's gonna make that time available for you no. and it's just we've done it now so we gotta, we yeah. gotta. That's why we're talking about this. That's why we're setting up all these challenges. Exactly. It's all kind of coming together with that in mind. It just shows you how intense we feel about this stuff because we can't help but make everything else kind right. of about that. Yeah, but you want to because it's. I'm turning the current work we're doing into uh, like a warm up for the real thing. Yeah, this is the smallest thing is becoming like a. Um, how am I going to use it for that? Because it is like input and output, you know? It is what you put in comes out mm. is sort of how I... And the more I think about it, the crazier it gets where it's like, I feel like in a weird way, I can control my emotions or put myself in a state of mind 
purely by what I watch, read. If I'm like, ugh, I want to feel like shit, which I don't know why I do that. I, I know exactly what I could watch and exactly what music I could listen to and exactly and I would get to that state of mind. I think everyone is good at that. It's so everyone knows weird how to change those. there. So you suddenly realize how much control you actually have. Yeah. If you are conscious and I'm not the conscious at all. Yeah. I'll be like, why do I feel like and then I'll kind of retroactively be like, Well, of course. You've been listening to murder podcasts for the past, you know, however many <laughs> hours and I'm like, Why am I like all freaked out and, <laughs> and it's like it's i just find it so interesting how much control we actually do have yeah over that yeah you know and i have a list on my computer of like videos that i know make me if i'm I ever saw a, you watching them earlier yeah so it's like if i ever get in a bit of a not a bad mood just mm-hmm. like oh i want to get pumped up yeah i i'll watch those videos and they do the same yeah that's cool i think it's it's something that everyone actually does know how to do right but it becomes you have to kind of exercise doing it for it to become something you do unconsciously right it's very hard to consciously remind yourself to be doing the the things that you know will actually make you feel better in the moment of feeling bad because you're kind of consumed by it even if it's just a little thing right like just being a bit frustrated yeah it doesn't have to be like being extremely depressed it could just be anything that's a exactly a little bit of a negative experience or just to you know sometimes before i record a podcast here Mm. i'll just listen to something funny on the way over Mm. Just so I kind of get in that mindset and mm. kind of come in a little bit more Same. loose and stuff. You know, I find that so interesting. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I wish I had put these like minor points at the beginning of the podcast because it feels a little lame to talk about after all these exciting things. What? Um, I just wanted to remind us that we still wanted to edit a show reel, but I right. feel like that can be something uh, that we do maybe... It's one of the first tasks in the new year. That'd be good. Uh, like a 2019 show reel. Yeah. Um, or 2018, rather. Yeah. I don't know. What, do you, what would you call it? I guess you call think it, what it is what it's from. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, uh, I just, we have, yeah, we've got a lot of... Good, I think we've talked about, we've ran into problems where we're trying to show people. Yeah. You know, a client will be like, oh, show us what you've done. And it's like, rather than being like, Oh, here's this tiny part from this video, and then mm. don't. Uh, but you don't need to watch the rest of that because it's. Uh, and here's another part from this video. It's just something that feels a little bit more. Because I don't know what they're looking. I think ultimately, clients they just want to see something that it's like. Okay, they're 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 um, competent or. Yeah. Because I'm sure you could. You know, I I don't know what the experience is, but I'm sure you can get some video people that are just total shit. Of course, you know, and you gotta, it's, it's all about what you can show. Right. I think that's pretty clear. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. I said, I'd mention at some point in the podcast, um, rock climbing. Cause we're going later right. today. You asked me, are we bouldering or are we top rope climbing? Yeah. I just wanted to say that I think we should, um, we should get a little bit back into the idea of training when we're there instead yeah. of just enjoying the climbing yeah because it's so tempting on the day it is to be like oh let's just enjoy the climbing and kind yeah. of do the routes we want to do try the new ones do bouldering take it a little bit easy be more focused on like achieving new climbs right. rather right. than like physically training right and i feel like we've definitely we're definitely still improving but i feel like we're starting to hit a little bit of a like we need to up it to get to the next significantly better yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of hit a little bit of a plateau kind of kind of you... it's it's very hard to quantify those sort for of sure things. for sure but there was a phase when we were like all right we're gonna do this specific kind of training today yes and tomorrow we've definitely we're do this yeah, yeah. kind of training yeah and also with the workouts we still do them there's a couple of times when we don't do them we for good reasons get better even even better than that i think we should um just make the workouts a little harder sure um just add on new exercises switch it up a little bit because i think we're getting comfortable then let's do because i think the problem i have is that we climb for so long that then it gets to the workout yeah and it's more like not that i don't want to do it but it's like we've already been there for two no, two yeah. and a half hours and i'm like okay another half hour and it's like you've been there for three hours it just feels like a long no, for sure so it's like 
let's go fucking intense on the climb. That's what I mean. And then just switch to workout, even when it's still fun. Knowing knowing what we're gonna do, I think is actually the key. Yeah. Because it's like we already, even if it is long. Yeah. It's like you know that that's gonna happen next for sure. Right. And once you finish this amount of climbs, it's workout. Exactly. And it becomes like. But it automatic. can be hard. It can be very hard to get in your head too. Like, well, how much climbing is? Because sometimes I'll climb like four routes and I'll be like gassed. Mm. I'm like Jesus, we yeah. went really hard for those whatever. Yeah. Sometimes we climb like. I don't know how many, like five. We, we still no, we still <laughs> are going, and it's like, um, I don't know at what point you're like, okay, now I've kind of gotten to a point where it's good to move to the workout. It's very hard to know because you can't just take a ten minute rest. You know what I think it is? I think then. it is because we've been doing the thing where we're climbing the hardest routes. We're trying to push what we can do. Right. So we're going for the the routes that we're not entirely sure we can do. Right. Where we then end up on a, a part that completely shatters us because we can't get past it. And yeah. we're holding on for like 20 seconds and yeah. then we fall off and that kind of gasses us out for the rest of the yeah. time. I think if we take a step back and start doing routes that we know we can do but are still challenging but yeah. doing them a certain amount or like in this special way, we can yeah. kind of predict a little bit easier how much we can actually do yeah. in that time because we're not going to run into the issue of but don't you find it weird like i find it so strange because we'll do like a warm-up mm -hmm. just like a 6a or something mm -hmm. and then we'll go to 6b's mm -hmm. and i'm like that's not really hard enough and then 6c's are all of a sudden like well that's my max yeah like i can do them yeah. but then i feel super like whoo that was a tough climb and then you go back down to 6b's and it's like some are difficult enough and then some are like what this isn't it's, it's really hard to find that sort of, and you don't know a lot, a lot of times you haven't climbed that route before. Yeah. But I think you're right, especially the stuff where you climb something two or three times in a row. Because um, for me, it's just, I, 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 it's starting to frustrate me that there's a lot of the climbs that I can do, but I just can't do them in one go because of my endurance. Right. Not like my breathing, but just my arm strength endurance. Right. It fades right towards the top and i just can't hold on and right. especially on the well only on the really hard climbs right but technically i can do the moves yeah and i really that just is annoying and i want to like work on that maybe we should just switch it up a little more mm. that we don't climb the same routes necessarily it's just okay i'm gonna do this one two three times and then you say okay i'm gonna do that one two three times maybe uh i i, I mean just with a little bit of research it's definitely the training to be on the wall for longer it's stretches better. of time yeah. is going to increase your ability to do harder moves consecutively because that's what rope climbing is exactly like bouldering is intensely hard moves but very short yeah and it's like you got to go to a specific boulder to climb like that mm -hmm. and it is very short yeah it's a you know five six moves string together and you're yeah but we can we can end it there. Yeah, I think so. Right. Um. So, yeah. Let's just have a little think about what we want to do for our training today. Well, let's do a training session. Um, and uh, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, but otherwise, I think we're still very we're still very good at going climbing when we say we will. When we, we say we will, we really try not to compromise that time. That is special, sacred yeah. time. Oh, you've, I was thinking now, you've got like a bit of a, um, advantage. Yeah. Because we have the whole rule. If you don't want to go climbing, you got to pay 50 kroner. Yeah. But you got to hit your six workouts anyways. It's great. So I think that's good. And that will kind of motivate me to be like, yeah, you know, that's why I was like, when we don't go climbing, I suddenly have to figure something else out yeah. to do. And it's yeah. like, it messes with the, it's not as automatic and it becomes a, well, it's more effort, even though climbing takes longer. Right. I don't know. It's like. It's a weird thing of like I still have to do something. It's and climbing. I want to do something. It's the exact same as working late at night. It's it's anything at night. I feel it's like again. It's just hard to get out of the house because it's so fucking cold right now in Copenhagen. <laughs> well, once we get there, it's amazing. Once you get there, it's amazing. Yeah, I've never been there and been like, oh, oh me neither, me neither. Ever. Cool. Well, I will see you there in a bit. Cool. Uh, see you next time on Burning Boat Business. <laughs>